Hey there, how are you? I'm so glad you're here today. Well, I hope that you're staying safe and healthy. Um, well, today I'm gonna be showing you my PS4 game collection. <laughs> this is a video that I've been meaning to do for a while. I've been, I just haven't found the right time to do it. So I just took the opportunity today to um, to make this video for you, and I hope in some way that it relaxes you. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome to you. If you are a new viewer, welcome to you as well. I'm super glad you're here. Well, I don't have these games in order, so we're just gonna go randomly pick the one by one, if that's okay with you. Alright, awesome, cool. Um, I don't have that many much PS4 games. I don't have like a stack of them. I just have like several uh, PS4 games that I own. So, yeah, let's just get to let's just get straight to it. Sorry. So the first one. We have Medieval. Now you can never see the price on this because it's a really expensive game. Um, Medieval is one of the fun games that I remember owning. Not even no, no, I'm sorry, not owning. Um, played. Medieval is a very fun game to play. I know this is a remake because um, they remade it. This is a remake game, in other words. And um, the original one. Original Medieval came out like in the late 1990s, eight or six or nine, for the PlayStation. I remember growing up, I would play that game, Medieval, but on the Sony PlayStation. Like the artwork, the design, everything was just too scary. Like the gameplay was—it's like an actual horror game to me. You rise up from the from the dead. And you're fighting zombies, but not just zombies, but like other monsters do. Sir Daniel Fortescue, that's his name on the game. And um, you play as a knight, trying to take on the wit of, I think, the evil wizard. Zerok. Zerok, if you want to see the back of this, or you want to pause the video to read the description. Medieval is a fun game, and I would recommend it. Sadly, though, this game is only on the PlayStation 4. It's not on PC nor on Xbox. It's only exclusive to PlayStation. Um, I mean, I enjoyed it. It's much more, of course, a much more um, uh, better quality than the original PlayStation 1. But if I were to play it, if I were to play this game, I would have to either probably go with the PlayStation because it's just more nostalgic. Because again, I love the theme songs in, in the game and you know, I just like the, the feel if that makes sense. Then the PlayStation, then the PlayStation 4 version one.
now they release us the cool top of the ski which we're about to which i'm about to show you right now but they also release a third sequel or a second if you want to put it that way since it's called spider-man 2 that's coming out next year and it's gonna be based on well not based on but it's gonna be um they mentioned that new characters are gonna be appearing in the game and i'm excited for that if you haven't played this game i would definitely recommend it definitely recommend it it's a fun game spider-man my favorite superhero It's just a 1v4 game 
one player plays as a predator and the other plays as soldiers. I I know why people don't like it, and I and I respect their um their opinions. But you know, as a diehard fan as myself, I love Predator and I love playing this game. It's like to me, it's like Call of Duty Warzone, but was just an alien in it. If that makes sense, I don't know. I just get so hyped just by talking about this game. <laughs> Like two years ago, it's a shame that I missed out on the pre-order of this game because I wanted to get Jungle Hunter on the PC. Never go. That's the only DLC skin I wanted from this game. Um, Jungle Hunter on the PC. And not only that, I just think this game is so unique in a way that. You could equip the minigun as your secondary. Even if you die in the game, you still have that equipped in you. Not many shooting games, from what I can tell. You don't, um, you can't equip that weapon because it's OP. And I understand why it's OP. But still, it's, it's just a fun game. I personally love it. You know, I don't really talk about Predator in my YouTube channel. I don't really have any action figures. Maybe like, one or two but they're so small so it's kind of pointless and showing that on my channel but hey, if you're interested let me know i'll probably do a video on those figures and give my opinion about it but i'm telling you those figures are like just a joke i'm not even gonna bother trying to even post i'll make a video about that i do however want to get a predator figure like a seven inch figure and you know just have it you know have it there collecting dust you know just for display purposes. All right, enough about Predator. Let's move on to the next game. Um, I also have Kingdom Hearts 3. Trust me guys, Kingdom Hearts is a fun game too. I love the franchise. I never played all of them. I have played like a few games. I played the second, the first and second, the one on Nintendo DS, the one on Nintendo 3DS, and this one. I think the storyline for me is out of place because it's just like everywhere. So I have to really start all over in order for me to understand what's going on in the story. I have an idea, but I could be wrong. I'm not too sure. I, I think like it's. I think I'm gonna mislead you on the story. Not that I'm gonna say it, cause I literally forgot, but yeah. No, I'm not gonna eat this. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3. I never thought like Disney characters be on a video game or like movies or anything like that. It's just unbearable, you know? It's just, I don't know. Square Enix, creator of this game. Or became the lovers of this game. Kingdom Hearts. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some pretty good. Um, how do I say this? Like Disney worlds that I like in this game. Like the Hercules ones. That was a good one. Um, what's another good one? I'm trying to think out of my head. Because again, it's been a while not playing these games, and you know, I just been having them there to collect dust. But I'm just trying to think what's another world that I like in Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I don't even know. The Mulan one, I guess. That's a good one. It's a whole bunch, and I can't even think of one in my head. I just think of Hercules because I think that's like the best one because you get to team up with Cloud and then. fantasy or something with the wing and with the big sword oh my god he's my favorite you there you fight him and then he joined the force with you that was the best part and at the end i love his finishing move called on this slash i think correct me if i'm wrong i don't know i could be wrong but yeah kingdom hearts a new world that you can explore and you know just meet disney characters and 
it's like going to Disneyland but you don't get to meet like the actual characters you just get to meet like the sceneries of it even though it's not all of it but if, you know that makes sense Kingdom Hearts 3 oh yeah speaking of that I like the quality of this game it's way better than previous Kingdom Hearts game it's like so realistic I fell in love with that man that's fun like we play this game but I don't have the time for it oh well whenever I got the time I'll, I'll think about playing this game I don't know we'll see oh wow we're actually I'm actually kind of done oh no wait no correction I'm not done I have two more games to show I thought I was thought I was like whoa Okay, so the next game we're going to be talking about is, that's right, Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PS4. To be honest with you guys, I wanted to get that PS5 and play this game on the PS5 just to get the experience. But, you know, the PS5 are like hard to find and they're way too expensive and that's just not possible for me. Oh, I'm else. But... As Miles Morales, you first fight the Rhino. I think Spider-Man dies, and then you play as Miles Morales. To be honest, I haven't even finished playing this game. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I haven't even like finished playing this game. But it was a nice feature that they added Miles Morales because obviously in the first game. Obviously in the first game you would um you see Miles get bitten by a radioactive spider and at the end of the game he shows it to Peter Parker that he's, you know, he has spider powers, Spider-Man powers too. So therefore, they made Miles Morales Spider-Man. playing and playing and I said to myself like whoa why don't this game like 
Is there like an ending to this game? But sadly, I've never finished this game because I don't know. I don't know what made me stop. But I'm telling you guys, this game is super long. Like, I can't even imagine how long is it. I feel like there was like continuous levels to this. I even asked myself, like, am I near the end? I don't know. I don't even know if I was near the end or not. Last time I, from what I recall, I think I was in the, in the city going up a building. And I think that was it. I think I just ended from there. You see, it's even been nominated. Best Action Game. More than 75 awards and nominations. Doom. Raise Hell. All these demons and monsters coming from Hell. And you alone, equipped with armor, with the suit, with a helmet, with a shoulder cannon, with a wrist blade. Kind of remind me of Predator. You're, you're just fighting all these aliens on your own. I did wish, however, um, you could play with friends online and complete these missions. I think I could be wrong. I think there could be one. I don't know. But yeah, Doom is a really fun game. I would also definitely recommend it. If you want to get some practice targets on first person shooting games, this is the game I would go with. Doom Eternal. Maybe I might go back to it, because now I'm just like tempted to play this game too. There's like a, lot of, a few games I mentioned too that I want to go back to playing, like Injustice and Mortal Kombat. I really want to play Mortal Kombat. I like fighting games too, but I'll really show that. But Doom Eternal is another game that I will definitely recommend and definitely I will go back to. Lots of blood and gore. And non-stop action. Non-stop shooting, if that makes sense. Continuously shooting. But, yeah. Um, this wraps up my video. Well, my friends. That was practically all of my PlayStation 4 games. I told you I don't have that many PS4 games. Um, since I, um buy them anymore because they're expensive and it's a lot of money. I'm not rich or anything so I just buy games that I know for sure I was going to play and I did. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this ASMR, ASMR, ASMR and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Well, take care everybody and thank you for watching.